The call came in just before midnight, reporting a structure fire at 10 2nd Street in Dover. When firefighters arrived, they found the fire in an alley between 1st and 2nd Streets. It turned out to be an electrical fire, which was difficult to contain. A couple of underground uh, fires caused some explosions, which blew the mantle covers off, um, and fire was showing from there. The fire chief says there were four apartments in the adjacent buildings, two of which were occupied and evacuated. In order to fight the fire, the chief says they shut off the electricity feeding it. But despite their efforts, some power was still getting through. At that point, we uh, made the call to shut down a portion of the downtown because it was causing basement fires in two of the restaurants. Those fires were contained, but hours later, there was still smoke coming from underground. The insulation around some of the wires and stuff is still smoldering, so uh, just the heat that that type of fire generates is good going to take quite a while for that to cool down. In the daylight, electric meters melted on a charred wall are evidence of the intense heat. And if you've ever tried to lift a manhole cover, you can imagine the force of those explosions. As for when the restaurants will be allowed to reopen the tenants back in their apartments, the chief says that'll depend on when the power is restored. Reporting live in Dover, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.